tiny little hint of Christmas. <laughs> These are not toys, puppy. So glad I'm excessive sometimes. <laughs> it's feeling, it's feeling really cold. Friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 6. I'm already losing track and we're not that far into it, but I've been looking forward to this video for a while for a few reasons. First, remember when we went to the mall a couple videos ago? Well, I picked out some things at Express and we're gonna do a little try on haul because I'm getting to work with them on today's video. And I know if you saw the last Vlogmas, I've been trying so hard to hold off decorating this place for Christmas. I picked up some garland and um, a, a little tiny cute little Christmas tree just to have like a cozy, you know, Vlogmas backdrop for the month that I'm here. Tonight I have a friend's birthday party. I think it's a bonfire, which will be a lot of fun. And if we have time, I want to go shop around and maybe try to find her a little gift of some sort. So a fun filled Saturday. I'm still in my robe and my pajamas drinking my coffee, but um, I say we pick out our outfit for today from one of the things that I got at the mall and we try them all on. What do you say? I'm happy you're here. Thank you for being here. Pick out today's outfit. Um, it's so fun having a try on haul and a bag. It's like, I picked this out at the mall. I don't know, I'm just so used to like receiving things in the mail, you know what I mean? Like I said, I got a few things from Express, some cute winter holiday things, also some pajamas. And I'm getting to work with them on today's video, meaning that I can link all these things down below for you. And if you shop those links, it helps to support my channel, which I'm always so grateful when brands let me do that. It's awesome. And I'm actually, this actually isn't even planned. I just wear these every day. This is their body contour line. They have several things like body suits and long sleeves and tanks and stuff from this line. I really like the material. I'm picky. This for me has enough support that I feel like I can wear it without wearing a bra. And that is a huge gift. So I now have these in like four, maybe five colors. Let's go through these things one by one and then let's try them on. What do you say? This is probably what I'm most excited for, I would say. Look at this sweater. Look at this fabulous collar on the sweater. Something about this is very, um, what is it called? Nautical, very East Coast. I feel like someone in Maine would wear this sweater. Love the color of it. It's kind of like an oatmeal cream. Let's see how it looks on. I am so in love with this. This is like one of my new favorite things that I own because, okay, you know, I love my neutrals. I love to be like an earthy tone girl, but I also love something a little bit funky. And I just haven't seen a collar like this. Let me show you the back. It's giving, it's giving like private school grown up. <laughs> oh gosh, I just love this so much. This would be really cute with a claw clip. She says that she looks for a claw clip. Just kidding, I can't find anything cause I don't have a home where things are normally. So we could picture it like this. And maybe if I wear this, I'll find a claw clip later, but. Off to such a good start. Next, I thought this is just a good go-to knit. It is a kind of cropped sweater, but look at the, do you see how the knit kind of uh, creates a little pattern in it? I love maroons. I think maroons are just so pretty on. So I'm excited to see how this one looks, but I feel like it's an easy throw on, looks good with everything kind of sweater. Layer it with a jacket when it gets really cold. I'm excited about it. A comfy cute basic, but like elevated because the the stitching of this, you know what I mean? Like these are the little details I care about. Can you see that up close? I know I showed it to you a little bit earlier, but it adds a little bit of like a subtle textural pattern to it, which I really love. And this is totally the type of thing where you can drape some jewelry over it, tuck it into your jeans, you know style it up however you want it, which is typically the type of thing I end up throwing on because I don't want to think too hard a lot of days and this is a like tried and true don't think too hard kind of top so love that okay this is also from the body contour collection this tank is so fun it's like a little almost uh corset style faux leather um tank 
and I feel like this could be really, really pretty layered underneath a cardigan, but also could be fun to style it over a turtleneck, like a tight fitted turtleneck. So I'm excited to see how this fits. It's like a very stretchy, smooth material, which I feel like will be really flattering on. So let's see. Okay, this is pretty hot. <laughs> I went ahead and I got an extra small. I'm usually between that and a small because I figured if anything, I want this to read fitted, but I was a little nervous about how it would fit because you see things that are, you know, like a leathery material and you're like, oh shoot, that's one size, but not this. This is incredibly stretchy. Do you see the stretch on that? So it really kind of just like, like I guess it's called body contour for a reason. It really just kind of like contours to your ideal fit. But I do kind of want to try this. I mean, this is pretty fun as is and like put a jacket over it, but I kind of want to see what this looks like with a turtleneck just because I'm curious for my own styling. So I'm going to grab one of those. Okay. I think this is so fun. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think this is a really fun way to layer a tank when it's cold is just with the turtleneck underneath. I would probably get an even more fitted turtleneck. So it just is like, that's so fun. Okay. On to the next. Okay, the feel of this cardigan is so luxe. It's like thick, but kind of like stretchy, squishy. I really love the way this feels, but I thought this was fun. I've noticed bold patterns really making a comeback and that really excites me. But this I love because it's kind of like an oversized houndstooth pattern, but the, the colors are between almost like a wine and a black. So from far away, it's a little more subtle, but it's still a fun, bold pattern. And I'm excited to incorporate this into my every everyday kind of style. Let's try it on. Oh, yep. I wish you could feel things through the camera because the feeling of this is just so plushy. It feels like a material that you can tell won't pill, like will hold up well, but I love the long line of this. It gives it kind of like a casual fun vibe with a more, I would say formal pattern on it. I feel like houndstooth, I normally associate with like business clothes and things like that. So I like the juxtaposition of this. It's like oversized, bold, but houndstooth, you know? I feel like this is the type of material that I would also just throw on when I wake up in the morning when I need an extra layer because it's just so comfy and soft. Don't think that's necessarily the intent of this cardigan, but that's how it feels. Like that's how comfortable it is. I really like it a lot. I'm ending with some silky pajamas. I feel like Christmas season, you spend time with your parents and like, you know, if you have siblings that are married, their spouses like overnight and you wake up the next morning and you're wearing your pajamas and you have breakfast. So it's nice to have some like sets, especially long sleeve, long pants sets. So you don't feel overexposed or whatever. So I thought these were fun. These are silky and they have a rhinestone buttons. Very luxe, um, very much a vibe. So let's try those on to end this off. Okay. Yep. These are pretty fun especially for the holidays. It comes in a lot of colors. I like black. I just feel like it's timeless and very chic, but if there's a time to whip out the rhinestones, it's December, January, Christmas, New Year's. I feel like it kind of just fits the vibe, you know? I shouldn't have ended in these because now I kind of just want to leave them on. <laughs> hmm. Thanks again to Express for partnering with me on this video. As mentioned, these pieces I will link down below. I'll also link these tanks for you down below too, because that is like a staple for me now. So something I, I highly recommend. I'm gonna pick one of these out to wear today as my outfit and then can we decorate, please? I've been waiting so long. I can't wait any longer, please. <laughs>
So I got two rounds of this live greenery. This is the same greenery I bought when I was in um, New Orleans. Oh, guys, I also got this candle. This is the best candle. It's literally like $3.99. And it smells like a real Christmas tree. Oh, it's so good. I also got some sprigs of the exact same. No, this is a different type of greenery. There's a mix. This is the same. They have like the flat and then they have like the pokey, you know, technical terms. One of these cute little things, I figured I could hang it on the wall in the bedroom. Oh, this is gonna shed a lot. Good thing I packed my vacuum. Um, of the bedroom that's gonna probably be in the background of a lot of videos because the window is adjacent to it. And then, oh, Max thinks these are toys. I got three trees, all different sizes. Um, they were all $3, which is pretty cool. I don't know if these are battery operated or plug-ins, so we will find out, but we got little clear LED white ones, little red and white ones. This could be pretty on the tree. I kind of want to put the tree back there, but it's like on a very small ledge and it might fall. And then just regular non-LED clear. They were clearly running out, so I got all different things. And then, some command hooks in case we need to, you know, some garland or something without damaging the walls since this isn't even a rental. <laughs> this is just a short term. Maybe let's start with a tree. I wonder if there's a plug over there. Anything mix? Let's see. Oh, it's so happy. This is a lot of like lights for a little tiny tree. What do you think, bud? Kind of chaotic? Okay, well, we'll feel it out. We'll feel it out. Oh, here comes Max. <laughs> Thank you, bud. I bet I'm the first person to go this far in a rental. Which side goes which? Aww. A tiny little hint of Christmas. <laughs> this garland's not holding on. I think it'll maybe last a week. It's kind of but let's just see what happens. Let's just see. I'll probably have to attach it somehow, but I brought my nice big old vacuum, so that'll help me clean it up. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Okay, let's just try it with some lights in it, okay? Okay, let's just try it. They twinkle. I kind of want to know what it looks like with the lights off. I think the joy is worth the mess. <laughs> okay, here comes the Christmas cheer over here. What do we think? It needs lights. Good thing I got more. <laughs> Max wants to come see. You wanna come see, bud? Come look, it's Christmas. Okay, what else? Hmm, I think I kinda want these on the dining table. I do feel like I need something in the center. Oh, here's what we'll do. This epic little candle I brought, which I know is so silly to bring, but I kind of knew I want, would want to do something like this. Have that be the center of it. I'll juge it. I'll juge it and then we'll see how it looks. And I think over here, we just do a good old fashioned trio. <gasps> Does it like, oh, it lights up. It's so cute. Okay, let's do it this way. A little trio. Okay, venturing out to find a birthday present for my friend Jules, but en route, picking up a coffee. So I'm going to El Tigre, which normally closes at two and it's 1.30, so gotta kind of hustle. I've only been there once or twice, but it's a very cute. And I wanna see if they have any holiday type things. And then this is pretty close to, there's a cute like little center, not center, but little strip of stores on East 11th, right near like Try Hard Coffee Roasters that have little, little gifts and things and I kind of want to shop small and see if I can find like a, let's see, Jules likes coffee. Maybe like a cute ceramic coffee mug. I don't know. We'll just see what we find that looks like her to get her as a little, as a little small gift. But first let's go get a drink. Time for a taste test and a car chat. I got a tall, or I guess small, 
oat latte with, I said a smidge of the cinnamon flavor, and then she also topped it with some cinnamon powder. So let's give it a, let's give it a taste. It's a little too sweet for me. The espresso itself is really good. Good caffeine too, which I am thankful for and appreciate. I give it a six out of 10. Two things I wanted to share with you for card chat. One is I'm going to be getting these in person soon, so I should just wait to share them in person, but I'm too excited. I'm going to share it now. One thing that I'm doing for Christmas gifts this year, my friend Erin, who y'all probably seen in vlogs before, the one that just recently had a baby, her baby was premature. It was actually like a very high risk pregnancy. So it was a C-section premature. Baby had to be in NICU for quite a while. So hospital bills are crazy. So she, um, she does lettering. She used to do lettering for companies like Lululemon and stuff like that. And she's making like holiday lettering things this year to help, you know, pay for hospital bills and support her family and all that kind of stuff. She made the most aesthetic gift tags for me that they're like on acrylic. So I figured I could do these for my gifts. And then also people could keep their tags afterward as an ornament. Look at how cute she can do like any color, but I just got all of the blues and greens. Cause I thought that that would be really pretty together. She sent me quite a few pictures of them. They're just so pretty. I'm so excited about them. Um, so I'm going to link her Instagram. She doesn't even have an Etsy shop or anything. She's just like doing it for the holidays, but she has a lettering Instagram. So just trying to help my friend support her family. I'll link that for y'all. And the second thing is a song recommendation because I found my theme song for the new year. I still want to do a card chat soon about, um, you know, my intentions for the new year. Someone's walking right by my car. I'm pretending like I don't see them. If you're an Enneagram three, you'd probably also love the song. Um, it's by the Avett brothers on this album, the like bluish green album. It's called Untitled Number Four. You would never guess that that is a fantastic song, but it is. It's like, I don't need another collar. I don't need another hat. I don't need to leave the small town. It don't matter where I'm at because I'm happy being me the most. I don't need to make the world see I'm not crazy. I don't need to join in their games. I don't need to fight to stake my claim. I don't need the world to know my name and never mattered if they did because I'm happy being me the most. Just like little like affirmations of being like, oh yeah, I don't need to be assured by you. Just repeating that to yourself often is very healthy <laughs> and healing because it's easy to get in this like mindset of, oh, I need to achieve more. I need to be liked more. I need to see more. I need to do more. I need to have more, 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 more all the time. Um, and that doesn't make anybody happy. Well, a little free something for you. And, uh, let's go shop for someone, not me. I love an excuse to shop for gifts because it's like all the joy and thrill of shopping, but not for yourself. Oh, okay, let's go see what we can find for her. little gift haul. Got a little clip of this, but she's dairy free. And this is a beautiful dairy free chocolate. Have you ever seen like ribbon on the outside of chocolate? I don't know if it's good or not because <laughs> it's Ayurvedic chocolate, but it just means like raw cacao, raw honey, raw cocoa. Um, and then there is rose essential oil, cardamom, rose petals, and Himalayan sea salt. Sounds kind of good. And this, I think she just went to Santa Fe, but I honestly just love the smell of this candle and Brooklyn candle studio. I was like, I've seen this brand around. Y'all know how much I love candles. It's just very pretty and it smells really luxurious. Cactus, Palo Santo, spruce, wood smoke, sage, cedar. It's like kind of wintry, but not so wintry that it couldn't be around. And then the cutest, happiest little birthday card. Look how cute all those flowers are. I am very much looking forward to since tonight's going to be a night out. I think I'm going to go home and take a little bit of downtime, upload some things to the computer and maybe also just like chill for an hour. It is Saturday after all. Oh, did I tell you about Jacqueline? Jacqueline, my sister, 
I was gonna see her today and I was gonna I have some packages at her spot I was gonna go pick up packages but she is like violently ill today like cannot even keep water down but she's not running a fever or anything she said it happened after she got McDonald's chicken nuggets so she thinks she got really, really bad food poisoning from McDonald's. I said, that's why you don't trust, you don't trust Mr. Ronald. I don't know if there's a single thing I can eat there, but that's just scary. I wish I could like send her broth, but she can't even have liquids. Poor thing. Hello, it's been a couple hours. I've had the loveliest time laying under my <laughs> Christmas lights and I've just been planning out the next week, not even really doing any like worky work work. We're just kind of like, last Christmas presents I have to order and um, I like to do this whenever I have a lot going on in the week is I like to type it all out on a note with everything I need to like film and all the social things I have and appointments and then I can see it all typed out because you know how on the calendar app you have to click each day to see what's on it for some reason retyping it out like helps my brain really focus so I did that I feel good about the next week and I'm officially hungry so before Heading out to Jewel's birthday party. I'm going to take the leftover chicken and rice from yesterday's vlog and I think make it into a salad. Maybe use the chimichurri and some avocado. I have some Parmesan too, which kind of sounds good. So let's see what we whip up real quick. Let's just experiment. This is, uh, makes me really happy. I'm so glad I did that. So glad I'm excessive sometimes. <laughs> is it pretty? No, but am I excited for it? Yes, all I did was, arugula, salt, pepper, um, the leftover lime cilantro chicken, brown rice, chimichurri, avocado, and some Parmesan. And we got a nice big old salad. And also we have a sleepy boy that finished his little activity. I set up a little activity map for him to hopefully get some mental stimulation. Huh, was it fun? Was it so fun? He's going to the vet next week because he's turning pink around the mouth and paws which apparently normally means some sort of an allergic reaction. Um, so we got him a vet appointment to figure out, huh, bud? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go figure out what you might be allergic to. You got such a pink little beard. back to my little Christmas wonderland. <laughs> Look at all those lights. <laughs> um, celebrating Jules was really fun. It was nice to meet some new people and my heart feels happy. I feel happy. I feel like I'm balancing Vlogmas a lot better than I thought I would. Like I'm getting time to rest. I'm getting time to hang, getting my work done. And I really think it's just because I'm taking the pressure off myself. Like it, it really feels like you get what you get. And somehow I actually kind of like the videos better. Okay. Because you get more of my, I don't know, random thoughts. Um, and it is what it is. So thank you for being here. Can't believe we've done six days. Tomorrow is my off day. Gonna go to church, gonna get some coffee with friends, gonna rest, gonna catch up on things. And then I'll see you for Vlogmas day seven. Thank you again to Express for partnering with me on this video. I got so many compliments on the sweater tonight and I was like, I know. I'll send you the link later. <laughs> I'll have everything from this video linked down below for you. I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you so soon. So soon. Drove to the suburbs with our Christmas lists. Waiting for parking, you gave me a kiss.